Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavlin here with a look at your forecast. We're going to do things a little out of order today and actually start with the tropics because we do have this uh, new feature that we're watching down in the Caribbean. High odds for developing over the next few days as that wave crosses into the Caribbean. Development is expected anywhere in that red shaded area. The next name on the list is Melissa. So let's take a look at the latest. This is Tropical Wave Invest 98L. It doesn't have a name yet because it's not well organized yet. It's still an open tropical wave, but decent convection firing around the center of it as it crosses through uh, the Windward Islands here and eventually into the Caribbean Sea. Now, what we do get with the designation of this being an invest are model plots or spaghetti plots. And you can see each one of these white lines indicates a different model potential solution for where this thing may go. So notice as we go out the next five days, it doesn't really move much. It kind of stays put and almost stalls out in the middle of the Caribbean. So we'll have several days to watch the progress and potential evolution of this wave. Thankfully right now, none of the models take this into the United, into the United States. They just kind of keep it down here for the moment. We'll have to watch it, but I really don't think this will be an issue for the Gulf, more so the Caribbean, Central America, and potentially Florida if this thing can get scooped up uh, to the north. But again, no threats to the U.S. right now. Certainly nothing out there for us here in Houston. As we get you through the rest of the week, though, this is what the models bring us as we get towards, you know, uh, even the start of next week, uh, a system here in the Western Caribbean. So again... Doesn't look like it's going to go north with this model solution. Stays out of the Gulf. A lock and change. We've still got seven days at least to watch this thing. Uh, but that'll be the next player in terms of tropical weather. Now, back here at home, not feeling like the tropics. In fact, humidity is down. It's going to be cool tonight. Temperatures in the 50s across the board. Humidity stays low for Monday. Comes back, though, for Tuesday. Unfortunately, with even with the humidity, we do stay mainly dry as we get into the upcoming week. Now... I mentioned temperatures tonight will be cool. 58 will be your uh, low temperature as we get you into tomorrow morning. That'll be the coolest temperature that we've seen since April 12th, if we can actually get there. So some really fall-like feeling weather for us uh, with those clear skies, with the cool conditions, uh, and with the calm winds for the overnight. Tomorrow, high pressure still in charge, so it's still sunny and dry. It's hot for October, though. We're back into the 90s. And then here comes that front. It's weak, so it doesn't really do a lot for us temperature-wise. It could spark off maybe an isolated shower or storm chance, but the rain chances really do stay very low for the next seven days. So humidity is low tonight. As we get you into tomorrow, it stays low, but by Tuesday ahead of that front, we see a resurgence of the humidity. So dark green back on the map, dew point temperatures back into the 70s. It doesn't last though. As that front goes through, we're back to the dry weather. So a little bit of a roller coaster here with humidity for the first half of this week. Again, though, we don't really get the benefits of the higher humidity. Maybe just an isolated shower chance for Tuesday. That's it. Wednesday and Thursday dry, and then maybe another isolated chance with another weak front by Friday and Saturday. And we could use the rain. At Bush so far, we're 25 days in a row without measurable rain in the bucket. That's over a three inch rain deficit so far for this month. And you can see, again, drought conditions continue to spread out there. Moderate drought for parts of Harris County, Liberty, severe drought as you go farther to the west. Uh, and fire danger is also something that we'll have to keep an eye on for tomorrow. With that low humidity still in place, it'll be a little bit higher through northern Harris and Montgomery County, lower as you get down towards the coast. Remember, burn bans are in place for a lot of the area. Tonight, temperatures are comfortable. 58 for Almeida, 59 for Bel Air, 60 for Copperfield. We'll do 57 in Homestead, 59 for Third Ward, 57 Aldine, 55 for Tomball, Atascacita at 54, but 70 in Seabrook. Warmer as you get towards the water, low to mid 70s for Galveston, 61 El Campo, 60 for Huntsville, 51 though in Liberty. Tomorrow it's hot, 92 your high temperature in the Heights, Third Ward, Inwood Forest, we'll do 92 for Cypress, 91 for Tomball, 90 at Tascacita, upper 80s close to the water, 84 for Galveston, 92 in the city, 92 for Navasota, and 90 in Huntsville. All right, seven day forecast shows, again, two hot days to start the week in the 90s. That front goes through, then it's mid 80s. For the middle of the week, upper 80s then for Friday, next shower and storm chance comes in with another week front, and then that'll drop us back into the mid 80s again as we get into the second half of next weekend.